Hey there, guys. Uh, today we have uh, this is Darwin with a sort of a vlog kind of thing. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about my travels. If you actually want to watch a review of Susan, just click on the next video. Uh, if you don't want to hear me like ramble on. Anyway, so uh, I went to Hill Farmstead obviously um, a couple weeks back, about three weeks back. Uh, you can actually see, you know, I was in a different setting at an Airbnb. Um, if you go to Vermont, highly recommend staying um, somewhere where you can get an awesome Airbnb. Uh, basically, it's me and three other uh, friends, and basically we had. A two-story condo, like five beds, TV, um, you know, a, a kitchen, everything. Uh, basically, it felt like living in someone's house, right? You know, super comfortable. You know, we were drinking beer, playing poker, watching TV. It was just really comfortable. Uh, it's relevant to the price of uh, getting a hotel, so why not live comfortably? Um, so, highly recommend Airbnb if you're traveling around uh, for beer or whatever. Um, so then we went to also Waterbury. Waterbury has a famous three bars: a Reservoir, Blackback Pub, and uh, Prohibition Pig. Uh, Reservoir and Prohibition Pig have incredible food. Highly recommend uh, checking those out for that. And they obviously also have the incredible tap lists of having Hill Farmstead, Heady Topper on tap, Lawson's. Uh, obviously, it depends on what week you go, but just highly recommend that. Um, then, so then randomly, last week, my friend was like, hey, I'm going to Montreal. And I was like, hey, I, was, I decided, I was like, I'm going to go with you. So, um, you know, last second trip, went to Montreal. Uh, Montreal is really nice. Montreal, if you've never been, is just sort of, uh, it feels a bit like Europe. Uh, everything's in French. Um, you know, signs, streets, people all speak French, you know, they're all Quebecois. Um, and, but they're nice. They're nice. Don't worry if they're Quebecois. Um, you know, they're, they, like they actually are quite accommodating if you only speak English. Um, really fun city and actually have a really cool craft beer scene. So I went to the craft beer store, uh, bought a bunch of Canadian craft beer. So hopefully I'll be reviewing some of that for you. And I obviously also went to, uh, Du de Cio. Um, so got that from there. And uh, yeah, they have a cool kind of brew pub kind of thing, bar, really popping, popular place. Um, unfortunately, I don't really like too many of their beers. Uh, they do have a good IPA called Moralité. Uh, they have, um, and obviously this, this is probably their most famous beer, Passion Mortel, their coffee, Imperial Stouts, and I'll be reviewing for that, uh, that for you. Um, so uh, yeah, last week I was just in uh, uh, Montreal and I randomly decided, you know, actually it's only a three hour drive to Hill Farmstead. So I went back to Hill Farmstead. Um, yeah, I was at Hill Farmstead three weeks back, just went there again yesterday. Um, and thankfully they actually had Susan, uh, American IPA, just fresh on tap. Um, so I actually really wanted to have this beer three weeks ago, but now I have it. So, um, really cool stuff. Actually the uh, brewery, by the way, uh, if you want to go to Hill Farmstead, I recommend probably going around like two, three o'clock. Their hours are Wednesday to Sun, Wednesday to Saturday, uh, 12 to five. At 12, I've, I, it, I've been there three times now. I feel like it's a bit front-loaded, like the line's the longest, so you could end up waiting like two hours. Whereas um, if you go later, when I left Hill Farmstead yesterday, there were like 12 people online. Like it was just like really not a long line at all. Um, so, you know, I'd recommend going later. Or if you could also go early if you want to get multiple fills. What happens when you go there is that you can get any combination of a 750 or two liter, any combination, three fills. And so if you get your three fills, you can go back on, to the back of the line and get another three fills again. Obviously, if you want to bring some stuff back for friends or more stuff back for friends. Um, so yeah, uh, Hill Farm said I went. I did that. So I went from Montreal to Hill, um, Hill Farm said yesterday. Then I drove down to Boston. I uh, went up. To, uh, went down to Boston to hang out with a friend. And on the way, I obviously went to Jack's Abbey. So uh, Jack's Abbey uh, is also, also a nice kind of like brew pub kind of place. You can like. Um, sit there, hang out, drink some beer, and they also obviously sell their bottles. They sell everything that they have available. So they had um, barrel-aged uh, Framinghammer, but also all the ba variants. Uh, bar uh, barrel-aged Framinghammer is basically a world-class world -class, uh, bar barrel-aged stout. Uh, they call it a Baltic Porter, but it's a world-class, really good uh, barrel-aged stout. Uh, but they had variants of it. So they have like vanilla, coffee, cacao nut, and pe uh, peanut butter and jelly. Uh, some really cool kind of uh, variants. So I'll be bringing you guys reviews of that. And um, so yeah, Jack's Abbey, highly re recommend it. If you also go to Boston, uh, check out Trillium. Trillium is making incredible hoppy beers. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick kind of uh, update on uh, you know how my travels, little tips and stuff. If you have any questions, uh, post them below. Um, I actually will link you guys to uh, my Instagram because like you can see like my stupid ridiculous haul of all these beers that I bought. Uh, but thankfully, it's actually for you know friends. Um, I, I fortunately don't drink all that beer that I buy. Um, you know, I just love traveling and then getting some beer for myself. But then in the end, I'm still there, so I text friends like, "Hey, do you guys want anything?" And obviously, a lot of my friends don't travel for beer, and it's like you know, a fresh experience for them to try these um, you know hard to get beers. And so it's great for me to share with them that. 
Um, yeah, for me, it's like, you know, it's better to like buy a big amount to share than to drink it all yourself because then no, the, you're just drinking a lot of beer yourself. What's the point? Um, so yeah, until next time, guys, cheers. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. Uh, later.